Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have a little review, first like items I've ever bought from Hermes and I got them a couple of months ago. I'm not sure if I posted that vlog. I had obviously already opened them and wore them. I had picked up a pair of orange sandals, come in two separate dust bags. If you travel, which I occasionally do, a little bit OCD like about dirty things, you don't want like the bottom of your shoes touching the top of your other shoe right it's nice that they're separated i picked up the black orange sandals with the black base featuring the white stitching along the h a really good tip is to always pick up your orange sandals at the beginning of the season so you get the color and the size that you want i picked mine up this year like two days before spring started i picked this up on march the 18th think these sandals are great ish but i'm gonna let you know why you don't need them like i don't think it's a necessity in every like fashion girl's closet to have slight raised heel honestly this heel is like a centimeter high throw on sandal like with simple outfits or you've probably seen a lot of bloggers wear them on vacation that's where i first saw this sandal and i'm gonna be honest i first didn't like this sandal at all i thought it was very very mature looking and i mean not in a bad way it was just not my outfits tend to be a little bit more edgy and like not as like classy and sophisticated sometimes i teeter on both sides but it just wasn't really my style when i first saw them but i love to juxtapose my style often so usually if i'm wearing something edgy i'll wear something like a little bit more chill or subdued or more dressed up so these were like the perfect thing to do that with like i'll usually wear these with oversized slouchy relaxed light wash denim i usually don't really wear them with skirts like I just feel like it gets too girly and too dressy for me but then again I sometimes will so don't quote me on that if you see me on vacation with the skirt on me they'll be like Dale, Dale, why is she using a liar? I would suggest going up a full size if not a size and a half exactly a 39.5 but in all my shoes I always just buy a 40 because no matter what it's always gonna fit me whether I wear socks or no socks it, a 40 just always fits me so I always give myself that extra half size but with these I needed a 41 41 gives me enough space to walk and have my foot like move um, and not look like it's too close to the edge because that's not a cute look in your heels and your sandals when you're mm, babes the first day I wore these sandals these toe up my feet both me and my friend got them around the same time and we wore them like the first or second day together our feet were hurting we didn't walk miles in these shoes we were prancing around yorkville like we were just like doing casual walking and the h was literally digging into the top of our feet everybody talks about these sandals for what reason what is the reason third wear it was still doing that and i'm like honestly like at this point i was just really annoyed pricing of these sandals that i bought them for in march 2022 810 canadian dollars plus tax which is about like what nine something i was like for a thousand dollar sandals i'm like that you gotta be joking me but i know when it comes to the designer footwear it's not always about the comfort just because it has a higher price tag doesn't mean it's going to be super comfortable or not fall apart or whatever um but i would just expect at least some sort of decency you know some sort of so for a thousand dollars on the third wear i was getting annoyed at this point i was getting annoyed on the fourth and the fifth wear they started to mold to my feet so you need to be careful with these when if you purchase them they are going to take some break again at least give it about up to five wears for you to start feeling comfortable in the shoes the shoes don't have any dramatic padding it's just like this padding around the back heel of it i'm just going to keep it a thousand percent um, because my friend experienced this and she actually didn't ended up not buying these shoes so she has wider feet and when she tried them on she didn't find the sandals flattering at all because the sandal is so narrow like literally they make these sandals for like people with feet like this she felt like her feet were too wide for it and they were spilling over the sides and it just she said it wasn't that flattering so she just like didn't even bother with them she ended up going for another pair of sandals by hermes i can't remember the name of them but they have like the circles the circles around the front even if you have narrow feet because i actually have narrow feet 
like your foot can kind of sometimes rock over the sides. And another point that I want to make, just because you probably don't need these shoes, is they're really nothing special. <laughs> I'm not going to make this into a hater review because I'm going to actually give you my overall rating of the shoe in a moment, but there's no unique or special design to them. Like, yes, there's the age, there's they're the orange sandals, boop de dingle do, but honestly, like, you can find so many cooler, intricate designs. I actually really, really love the Bottega sandals, and I almost wish I bought those more. I think those would have been more of my style. I am probably going to purchase them <laughs> because I like that intricate like weaving design that it has but no shade to Hermes I still really really like these on the plus side um, it's introduced me to the brand and their leathers and how much I actually want to purchase these in different colors I think purchasing these in the different colors and textures will make the orange sandals fun if you're just going for the orange black sandals because they're plain black sandals I mean just know that they're nothing special just know that they're gonna be a good staple for you every single day like me, but you're not gonna be wowed. There's gonna be a breaking in period. If you have wide feet, like be careful. You might spill over the sides. Um, even if you have narrow feet, you might still <laughs> spill over the sides. Like they're just, you know, they're just black sandals. Like go to, I don't wanna say go to Alto. You can get affordable sandals that can hold up just as well as these. They've held up pretty well. Honestly, I just wipe them down every once in a while and they're like pretty good. Okay, so what my overall rating for these are? A seven out of 10. I think I would have had so much more fun with these if I bought them in a really nice bold color to match with other things for the summertime. You've probably seen the, the fuzzy orange sandals that are out right now. Like those are a vibe. Like those make me more excited about orange sandals rather than a plain, one like this if that makes sense right so I'd probably rate those more and if you're someone who lives in black and you live in neutrals then maybe you'll feel otherwise if your style is more dressy and like classy you know maybe like you'll love the black and white ones you know or the brown ones I really want the Bottega ones I want the Bottega ones I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you in making your decision click my head to subscribe and follow me on these other socials to keep up with me and click the bell so you know when I post new videos. I love you guys so much and take care. I need a glass of wine at this point.